The four on how three Alabama communities are getting money to help them avoid the water crisis they experienced well earlier in the year. All that money, millions of dollars, is going to be to improve water infrastructure in these areas. Brian Henry joins us live from Oakman and Walker County. How is this money going to help? We're more going to share it. We're talking close to $7 million, and the aim is to prevent what happened back in January of this year from ever happening again. At Oakman High School. Why are we here? Why is this so important? Senator Greg Reed announced grants totaling $6.7 million with one singular focus. In the beginning of 2024, portions of Walker, Fayette, Tuscaloosa counties experienced extended periods of drought and also super cold conditions. All brought on by freezing temperatures and the bitter cold of January. Because of these two weather conditions taking place at the same time, a prolonged period, this was an incredible strain on the water systems, the infrastructure, water tank capacity. That meant residents had to resort to using bottled water 16 days without basic conveniences, such as making coffee, washing clothes, or taking a shower. Now let that sink in for just a minute, because some of those folks are here today. But the grants are expected to fix that, replacing aging pipes, repair old infrastructure, simply improve the overall water system. Those 16 days, 16 days was rough without water. An experienced Oakman mayor, Corey Franks, never wants to see again. On behalf of cities like Oakman, the mayor was grateful. In times in rural communities throughout the 67 counties, it's easy to feel forgotten because you don't have the, uh, the means to do the things that other cities are able to do and grant projects and programs that are going to revolutionize the infrastructure. Thousands affected by the crisis will tell you that revolutionizing can't come soon enough. And local leaders say most of the work on the water system should begin by September of this year. And according to the criteria in the grants, all of the work must be done by June of 2026. In West Alabama, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.